Any broth made from scratch is one of those kitchen staples that I love to teach people how to make. Usually when you're using bones like beef bones or chicken bones, it takes hours to cook. But I'm going to show you a very short way of making it within 40 minutes and the results are exactly the same. So this is a beef bone broth and the best way to get as much flavour out of this broth is to roast your bones off first. So I've placed these bones, just classic beef bones, you can see they've got some marrow in it too, along with some onions into the oven, really, really hot, so 220 degrees, and cook them for about 40 minutes until they're caramelised. So by roasting them, we're going to get a beautiful golden colour on the broth, and it's also going to extract some of the flavour from the bones. So in they go to the pressure cooker. Now, this is a 7.5 litre pressure cooker, which means we can make a big batch of broth. All the bones can go in. And I'll also add a piece of chuck beef. Now, this is not essential when you're making a broth, but because I'm turning this into a soup, I like the idea of shredding some meat in the final bit. So in with a bit of chuck. You could also use some oxtail, along with some aromatics. So I always add a little bit of peppercorn, just whole peppercorns, four or five of them can go in. A bouquet garni, which is a combination of bay leaf, thyme and parsley. And I've just tied it so it's much easier to take out of the broth once it's cooked. And some classic root vegetables. So we've got some onion, I've just cut in half. Some carrots, two whole carrots. Some celery, two stalks of celery. I'll just break them and pop them in there. And to help extract even more flavour and the nutrients from the bones, I always like to add just a small splash of vinegar, any type of vinegar you like. Now we need to fill this up with some water. Now when you're pressure cooking, it is really important to not overfill it. And this pressure cooker is fantastic because you can see the max level of where the liquid should be. So I'm going to fill this up. And that's all I'm going to be adding at this stage. Really important not to add salt when you're cooking a broth. Always season it later because as it reduces, the flavours concentrate and we can just test it right at the end. So the lid goes on and we can lock it. And these days, these modern pressure cookers are so safe. OK, the heat goes on. I like to start at a high heat. Once the pressure builds up, I'm going to turn it down to a medium heat and it's going to cook for 40 minutes. smells so good. I've released the pressure and you can't open the pressure cooker until all of the steam has been released. So you know, again, it is very safe. So it's as simple as opening that up oh, and smell that. It is just the best. It's the smell of winter in my eyes. So now using a slotted spoon, we're going to take all the vegetables out and you don't need to discard these. You can chop this up and pop it into the soup if you like, or you can chop it up, cool it down, pop it into a salad. It's up to you. But what I'm trying to do now is to just remove all the larger pieces. So we've got that beautiful clear broth. So out with the bones. The big piece of meat, you'll see it here. So we'll pop that onto the board and we'll shred that. And all these other bones have done their job. Take them out. Also, oxtail is fantastic if you can get your hands on it because the meat will also fall off the bone. Okay, that is perfect. Now we're going to turn the heat back on, onto a high heat. And if you want to be pedantic, what you can do is strain this broth through muslin cloth or chucks, and then you'll have this pure liquid gold. So I'm not going to bother because I know it's going to taste just as nice as is. And we're going to add some vermicelli, just a few nests, maybe one or two. We just break that up with our hands and rain that in. One and two. And because the vermicelli noodles are so thin, they won't take long at all to cook. In the meantime, I'm just going to shred this little bit of meat. This is just delicious in a broth like this. And it's not too much meat because it is all about the broth. It's just that little surprise. So really thin threads of it. OK, and this can go back into our broth. So you can see it's boiling now, so these noodles are going to take no time at all to cook. 
and we haven't seasoned our broth yet. So a good pinch of salt can go in. We'll give that a stir. And before we serve this, just want to have a taste, just to make sure that the seasoning is correct. Look how rich and golden that is, fantastic. Just right, I love this. So a generous portion into a bowl, getting some of that shredded beef. Remember noodles, a little more of that broth, and that right there is a hug in a bowl. Beautiful warm broth, it's been seasoned perfectly. Some noodles, I just love this in the middle of winter. And the best thing about this is you can do this the traditional way and it's going to take three hours and it'll be absolutely delicious. But if you want this and you want it now, you can make it in 40 minutes and that's the beauty of pressure cooking. Mm, it's good. <laughs>